Okay, hello everybody. I'm Dr. Richard Southwell and this is the beginning of a course of lectures on the foundations of projective geometry. An absolutely beautiful subject. I've done quite a few videos trying to introduce projective geometry to the layman um, using kind of visual and intuitive ideas. But what I'd like to do now with this course on the foundations of projective geometry is to take an axiomatic more sort of rigorous approach using some algebra and proper proofs and such and essentially to make a learning resource that people can use just by watching these videos and learn projective geometry to a relatively decent level. The projective geometry relates to ideas of optics and ideas of perspective drawing but it also relates to some much much deeper and more kind of exciting fields in my opinion like non-euclidean geometry hyperbolic geometry curved space things like this the reason is because essentially projective geometry is more fundamental than Euclidean geometry, standard high school geometry. And even better than that, the approach I want to take to projective geometry is essentially following Coexeter's book on the subject, which takes an axiomatic approach. So rather than defining everything in terms of numbers and Cartesian coordinates and things like is done so much in geometry, you know, with the X coordinate and the Y coordinate and so forth. We don't need to talk about numbers hardly at all. We don't need to talk about, met well, we don't need to talk about metrics and distances and angles. Instead, we're just going to make some assumptions at the beginning about what our two-dimensional projective plane, our arena which we're going to be doing geometry on is like. And then all of the things which um, follow are just logical consequences of those original axioms. Now, the reason why that's a great thing is because what it means is that the knowledge which we accrue it's applicable to any system which satisfies those axioms. So it could be applicable to a geometry on a sphere, or it could be applicable to more exotic situations uh, like hyperbolic geometry. I'm not going to get into those notions, which are quite complicated and um, involve a lot of metrics and I don't have to because projective geometry is more fundamental it's it's below the idea of measurements it's below the idea of curvature essentially all we're really talking about is properties of points and lines and I think one of the most fascinating things from projective geometry is to see all of these ideas of um, conic sections, that's like um, ellipses and hyperbola and such, and to see ideas like um, metrics and sequences of uh, rational numbers and things all kind of emerge from some much more basic axioms it's almost, um, it's almost like a kind of genesis story of geometry where we can start with some logical ideas that a blind man could understand and um, just see all of the familiar notions of geometry emerge from these.